Hey there, it's CryptoPixie. Welcome to my channel and new project. Today we will have a look at Age of Farming. I think this game really has a big potential. We will see their white paper and the gameplay at the end of the video. Before starting, I want to remind that there is no financial advice in this video, so please do your own researches aside from this and don't forget that you are responsible from your own decisions okay when we look at the about part in their website age of farming is a wax blockchain game with nft pixelated graphics travel back in time till you reach the stone age then hunt craft and survive until you reach the bronze and iron age with your colony it has play to earn feeders which allow users to earn nfts and tokens by playing the game they really summarize really nice here when I scroll down to page, there is the mechanics part, uh, crafting, spend resources and mint new NFTs that can be used in the game. And about mining, mine ores too and use them to craft tools and build structures in your village. Housing, keep count of how many villagers are there in the colony and build enough space for each one. For hunting, send villagers in the forest to hunt the wildlife for meat and leather. Gather lumber by going in the forest, chopping trees, and for the energy, cooked food is the main source of energy. I'm sure you got the point, everything is clear now. And when we look at their NFTs, there's five different rarities of each of them. And these are the tools in the game. There are three, they are the axe, pickaxe, and spear axe. Axe does food, pickaxe does the stone, and spear does food. And I would like to go with the roadmap. It's a really important part of the video. Right now, they have the stone tools and they have the crafting in place. But this is only the first age of the game. So there's not many things here. You can see the seasons, skins and tents dogs and bows for the successful hand and real mounts but when we continue the playing we will get more things you can see for the nail attack it will be details like seasonal clothing will be happen we will be able to make wood cloth and sweaters and there will be plant domestication animal domestication earthworks and irrigation early fortification and for this age, we will be able to get cars and horses and alcohol is different. Thieves will be in the game of workshops called Prometology and early writing. The game is giving me like really uh, nostalgic vibes. And I really want to continue with the story. And I'm sure with these details, you are also seeing the potential of the game. And for the Bronze Age, we can see bronze tools, advanced writing will be in temples, weapons and armies, and advanced fortifications. There will be really cool things about the game in the future, so we will be wait and see. When we look at their white paper, at the first page, they tell us about the game a little bit. And the game plot, there are three primary stages in the age of farming, Stone Age, Bronze Age and Iron Age. Your primary goal is to maintain a flourishing colony, which means you must first satisfy your colony's necessities while also continually developing your technology. Spring, summer, autumn and winter are the four seasons, each with its own set of beneficial and bad consequences on your civilizations. I really like the concept of this game and we'll look at the active age, it is a Mesolithic one, it's the first age. There are stone tools here, stone axes, spears and picks are needed for gathering wood, food and stone, a plentiful supply of resources needed for flushing populations and about the crafting, crafting a variety of tools was necessary for any human survival in the stone age they tell us here. We already checked the details of this on the roadmap, so we will continue fastly. I actually want to see more details about the game mechanics. For the 
housing system, every villager requires a place to call home, which is why the maximum number of villagers is restricted by house rooms. By default, there are room for six humans in the colony. And for the food system, you gather your food and that helps you with the energy. Crafting, players can combine NFTs and tokens to make new NFTs. And the unreleased part, the farming. During the summer, farming is the best storage of food and the food is produced may be safe for the winter. We will be able to get some food and create clothing and there will be a few other items like that. In a reading, there is a really important part of the game. It's a P versus P aspect of the game that allows you to compete against other people. There is also NFTs and the feathers of them here we can see, but we can say the commons are now really effective. I'm not going to talk about ROI because it changes every day. If you like this game and if you're interested for long term, you can of course start with the commons and the uncommons and after upgrade from there. Okay, I hope you get something really good from the white paper info part. Now we will see the gameplay. I already joined the game, but at the first you will see uh, the season part and it's now spring in the game. The snow is throwing, birds are soaring and animals are appearing here. And I don't know if the music changed from the season to season, but it's really relaxing and nice and on the screen you can see my tools I'm just trying to show some parts in gameplay and if you look across the top here you can see the first one is the wood and the second is the stone and the third one is the energy food and the villagers you have and when you click the trading part, you will see how you withdraw and deposit coins. And the cooking, this is where energy comes. When we look at the crafting part, let's say in order to craft a common, you go ahead in the screen. It shows what you need in order to craft one. And if it gets higher, the same mechanic works. It loses uh, more wood and stone. So for now, you can craft all three tools. For the details, I will give the links down below. You can go and check their white paper again. I want to uh, emphasize that if you are new in the game, you are staking for the first time. There is a known bug in the game. There working on it sometimes if you stake it automatically shows that you can claim it right away but it's not true actually you need to wait the full hour before claiming if you have this problem also you can refresh your page and it will be probably gone okay guys it was all about the game if you're interested you can go and follow their twitter I will give all the links down below. Thank you for watching me. If you have anything in your mind, you can ask me in the comments. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for your time. See you in the projects.